say is this is way better than that stupid Zoom meeting we had last year. So glad to see all you guys here. I mean, it's just great to get back to some sort of normalcy with this event. Um, try to get it back to the scale that it was a few years ago. It seems like it's just yesterday, but I guess it was like three years ago since we held a real race week. So, looking forward to uh, this one getting us back to normal. I think the weather is going to be pretty freaking awesome. So, I think we're going to be good there. Um, so, without, you know, um, digressing too much, but, you know, we've got this group and you know, our sponsors that make this event incredibly special. And I want to make sure that you know you guys respect what those sponsors bring to the table for us. Um, it, it's just not possible without them. You know, I mean, it would be, if you think your entry fees are bad now, can you imagine without sponsors, they'd be twice that. You know, so. I want to make sure that you guys support the sponsors so that we can have them back next, have them wanting to come back next year, um, and appreciate what you know. Quantum is doing the debriefs. They bring in Leandro Spino to do the debrief daily debriefs. Um, you know, we had practice races out there by them. I mean, it's all of our sponsors. They're like partners, you know, with us. You know, and, and they're making the event better for you guys and for us. And, you know, I just can't say enough to appreciate. I mean, you guys are gonna have a bad day tomorrow. You're gonna be able to go over there and have two, three gosling, dark, and stormies. And guess what? That day is gonna get a lot better. <laughs> now, added twist this year, if you've had five or six dark and stormies, you can go by the drip lounge in the morning and get rehydrated and all ready to go for racing the next day. Or you can get your B12s, you know, we've had a little added a few things to the event this year. Um, Bike Owner Brewery, we have a Charleston Race Week Lager and a Charleston Race Week Blonde Ale that you guys are going to be able to, to taste tonight. Um, we've got a new sunglass um, for guys that are going to win daily awards. Um, Rios, which is a le local sunglass company, is providing sunglasses for us. Town of Mount Pleasant is a huge backer. Um, the mayor apologized he couldn't make it here tonight, but he'll be here during the event. Um, you know, they just love this event as well and support it in a, in a great way, as does the state of South Carolina as well. So it's nice that these guys all appreciate what you guys bring to the area for this event as well. Um, got quite a few things on tap for this weekend. Um, pretty excited about, um, we'll have a local knowledge talk tonight as soon as this is done at 6 o'clock. And then we're going to roll into, um, Terry Hutchinson's going to do give us a little bit of update of America Magic um, at 6.30, uh, which is pretty cool. And, you know, it's kind of... It's just the nature of the guys that are out, guys out on the water, right? It's a pretty good, pretty group, a good group of sailors. So, all sorts of people out there, very, very talented. So, um, then we will tomorrow night. You know, we'll have a full dinner. We've got some special award presentations that we're going to do Saturday night. We've got a pro am where we'll have um, Terry Hutchinson, Leandro Spina, uh, Connor Bloom. Uh, Corey Searle, uh, Laura Grundon, and Paris Henkin all out, and they'll be out there racing with some of our local high school sailors, getting them in, uh, some experience that, you know, I think when we were all in high school, we'd love to have that exposure. So, exciting stuff. And then Sunday we'll, ran, we'll, we'll wind up with some awards and a chili thing, but plenty of stuff to do, and, um, you know, again, be sure to support those sponsors that are out there on the beach. They're, uh, you know, I can't say enough how important those guys are to us. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we've got to do. That's all in my notebook. But, um, without that, I think I've got it. We've got some great race officials running your courses this year, as we always do. And I've got Taryn Teak, our PRO. Turn it over to Thank you, Randy. And
it is great to be here and to be out racing and on the race committee again. So glad to be here and glad to see all of you. I'd like to introduce um, uh, first our race officers uh, on the different courses. Uh, we've got on circle one, Chip Till. And on circle two from Texas, our IRO, Mark Foster. Race Officer Matt Hill and uh, Bruce Bangman, National Race Officer from Annapolis, is uh, doing some work back at the office and is not here right now. And then we have Ray Redis on the Pursuit Course. So thank you for coming. In addition, I saw John Strassman somewhere over here. He's also helping out. Thank you, John. started on three days of great racing, there's one thing that's top of mind for all of us, and that's safety. And I wanted to introduce uh, the man who has been here for many years, uh, Dr. Shapiro, to uh, let us know uh, what he's thinking about for the weekend with his team. Uh, hopefully nothing. Um, um, as we um, embark on this weekend, um, we hope that everyone will be safe. Um, we have a safety plan that hopefully you've read about. Uh, the individual courses have individual radio uh, channels. If you have a problem, please call the PRO, and then we will have the safety boat and or the medical boat come. If you can identify your boat, your boat number, your bow number, where you are, will really make a difference in how quickly we can get there. Um, I always want to remind people that there are true emergencies and seasickness is not necessarily a true emergency. So we will get to you, but maybe not as fast as maybe that person who's seasick out there. Uh, one last thing, and I, and I don't want to be bring, bring this down, is there still is COVID. If you feel sick in the morning, if you have fever, be considerate of your competitors and maybe not compete. Um, any questions? Thank you, Dr. Shapiro. So if I could summarize one more time from a competitor perspective, the competitors call on your radio channel on your circle and let us know what's going on. Call your PRO and our safety team is also listening on that channel. And um, we'll try to, try to take good care of you there. So it's pretty simple. All right, uh, with that, you may have noticed on Flotilla, our, uh, our scoring platform, you see a number of people looking at their phones in the last half hour. Uh, how many uh, have noticed there's an S sailing instruction amendment posted? <laughs> All right, I saw some in the back. So. It wasn't important. But you may want to look at it. Okay, so uh, when you go into Flotilla, you go into the regatta, regatta dash, and then under documents, you will see the sailing uh, amendments, uh, and the results are on that page, um, are on those pages too. So with that, I'd like to introduce Mr. Flotilla. Anson Stokely is going to give us a couple words about Flotilla. Hi, I'll keep this very quick. Uh, I would encourage everyone to uh, download Flotilla onto their home screen so that you can get to the Regatta Dash um, with ease. And there are instructions for downloading it on the Charleston Race Week page. There's the word instructions is a hyperlink. Go there and it'll tell you exactly how to get it onto your phone. Uh, once you have the app, uh, you just tap that button. And then in the upper right hand corner, there's sort of a, 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 a little man icon. And if you tap that, you'll get a small menu and Regatta Dash is one of those menus. And it will take you to the Regatta Dash of Charleston Race Week. And 90% of what you guys will want to see will be on the Regatta Dash. Uh, your NOR, your SIs, 
uh, results, all sorts of stuff. So I encourage you to, to check that out. Um, also on the event page, not on the regatta dash, but back one step on the event page is um, the Shoreside Activities button, which has the uh, schedule of events. Um, it's got a, uh, um, a social notice board attached to it, so make sure you don't miss out when the bar is opening. And um, uh, a lot of good things. So just to explore, and uh, hope you all have a great weekend of racing. Hey, uh, Mr. Cortilla, <laughs> so, so if, if you guys post on the side, If you, great question, thank you. If you, um, uh, in your registration, and you can go back in by hitting the registration and merchandise page, page, in the very first, there's like four steps in there, and step number one, there's a box to check in there that says allow text notifications. And if you enable that, when, uh, when things are posted, you're going to get an email, but you're also going to get a text notification. Okay? Didn't hear that. Yes. Go in and check the box. All right. P H P H L O T I L L A. You're not going to find it in an app store. So it's a progressive web app, uh, which is the new wave of things. And um, so just download it from the page. <laughs> Go to the instructions. You'll be able to do it. It's very simple. Good luck. <laughs> All right, um, just a couple more things and then we'll let you guys get to the, uh, to the beach. I uh, also wanted to introduce our chief judge and that is Sarah Ashton. And also on Flotilla, I know we probably don't have many protests here at Charleston Race Week. But you will need to, if you do want to uh, put in a protest and, or a scoring inquiry, you can do that right on Flotilla. So that would be all done on Flotilla. Yes, sir. The pursuit, the pursuit race starts are uh, underway right now on the time, and that will be posted uh, before 8 o'clock tonight. They're working on it right now. Uh, I'll take one more question. Is there a safety briefing on traffic in the channel? Um, one thing I will say is look at the website uh, PCALL and that will tell you when the boats are departing from the Charleston Harbor and coming in. Also the app Marine Traffic, again Marine Traffic will give you real good um, sighting of the boats coming in and out of the harbor. If you have any more questions, there's going to meet and be a meet and greet tonight at 6 o'clock over under the terrace at the hotel. And you can meet and greet your judges as well as your race officers and get your questions answered. All right, sir. Well, there is a section on that in the sailing instructions, and, and uh, I would refer you to the SIs. But, uh, yeah, so take a look at the SIs. There is a new provision in there for if there's five forms and um, what the uh, procedures will be. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, we're on a commercial port. It's really busy. We've got about, I haven't, I haven't looked lately, but we have about 25 container ships probably just offshore waiting to come in here and come out. So it's kind of, we're sort of jammed up. But um, we've got, I think for tomorrow, we have like four boats coming in and out. Um, marine traffic's very good. We do have, for pursuit guys, we do have a patrol boat that's helping to monitor it. If you take a look at the sailing instructions, there's actually um, a provision in there for you to keep out of the way of container ships and commercial ships. 
Um, there's also, you can go to the website and in our program, which has, didn't make it here yet, um, there's a good description from the pilots, written by the pilots, as far as what the container ships are able to see and they're viewing. Because a lot of people, you know, we feel like, oh yeah, we're going to make it across that bow. Well, if you go out, if they lose sight of you while you do that, that's five horns, and it's just leave, they're, they're mandated by five horns. And we're always in communication with the pilots um, and, the, and working closely with them, but sometimes we've had pilots, they've had to put, you know, they've had to back down. And if it's a seriously event of that nature, that five horns throws you out of the regatta. So it's not, not anything we want to do, but it's something that you know, we have to do if, if it warrants it. So be careful with that. Um, and then another note that's a little bit different, I think it's important, is just, you know, we are running this event. You'll notice all, all the boats will have bow numbers. Um, and I wanted to make sure, double check your bow, bow numbers that you got in your registration pack with the scrap sheet, make sure they line up. I know we've got a couple of Melgus 24s that were in there, and one bow number was maybe 49, and another bow number was 21. I mean, I don't think we've got any 1993 or 1994 Melgus 24s out there. Um, so, what's that? Got one. Got one? All right. Is that the about 21? 21. 21 is it? Congratulations, that's awesome. That thing's almost as old as I am. Awesome. All right, well, I think that's all we've got as far as business was. You know, guys have a great regatta. So great to see everybody back here for a change. And, um, Enjoy the cocktails and the, and the beer and the wine and the food and, and the racing. Thank you so much.